Okay, let's take a look at some of these exponential um, equations, okay? Now, uh, hopefully that you um, recalled from the graphs, you looked at something like the graph of uh, 3 to the x. It looked like that. And it assumed all values of x. So at some point, it's going to equal that value of 243. So that certainly there is a solution to 3 to the x equaling 243. So how are we going to find it? Well, you might, somebody might say, well, I don't know. You know, if I could equate 243 should be recognized as some number. I know that that's, what, 3 to some power? 3 to the 4th power? Yes, it is. 3 to the 4th power is 243. So 3 to the x equals, okay, um, 3 to the 4th. Well, obviously, x is equal to 4. Now, what did we do? Well, it's quite simple. If we equate the bases then we can equate the exponents. So since we were able to put the bases uh, on a common base of 3, then we were, uh, with that being said, we were able to equate the exponents. So let's carry that over to the next couple. So 81 is, of course, 3 to the 4th power. So 81 itself can be written as 3 to the 4th power, but then that is subsequently written to the x plus 3 power. Now, 3 is, of course, 3 to the 3 x plus 3, I guess that says, x plus 1, rather. Okay, so now if we distribute this, okay, we get 3 to the 4 x plus 12 is equal to 3 to the 3 x plus 1. Well, again, we've managed to equate the bases, so now we can equate the exponents. We yield a very simple 4 x plus 12 equals 3 x plus 1 implying that x is equal to what? Negative 11? Okay. So, uh, there we have it. Okay. Uh, subtract 3x, subtract 12, there we have it. Okay. Our value of x is negative 11, which means 81 to what? The negative uh, eighth power is the same as 3 to the negative 31st power. Okay. Let's do the same thing over here. 1, 1 25th should be recognized as 1 over 5 squared, okay, or 5 to the negative 2. So, uh, of the negative 3, rather. Five, uh, so, um, 5 cubed is 125, which is 5. So, then, um, uh, this expression, this whole 1 25th to the x power is 5 to the negative 3, that's the 125, uh, 1 over 125 to the x power, which is 5 to the uh, negative 3x power, right? Okay, there we have it. All right, equals, okay, that's 25, which is 5 squared to the power 1 minus x, which, of course, is 5 to the 2 minus 2x. So now we've managed to equate the bases. Let's equate the exponents now. So we get negative 3x equals 2 minus 2x. Solve for x, add 2x. We get negative 1x equals uh, 2. So I guess we get x equals negative 2. Okay? And our value is negative 2, which is, I think, a little easier to uh, simplify here because then um, uh, you should be able to check both sides are in balance there uh, with x being the negative 2. Okay? So we'll, re, uh, we'll resume with another video with these uh, 47, 49 problems down here, okay? So let's close it on this one.